friends welcome to machine tool design so in our last session we saw how the forces are distributed along the guideways uh, which are basically uh, the flat and v type of guideways okay uh, we basically saw that the forces were along the normal to the surface and there were three forces a b c and also uh, we discussed that you know the areas which are not under contact the other pair of v and flat there are no forces on that okay so we went ahead and discussed all of that we also discussed the various equations summation along the uh, z axis summation along the y axis and moment about the x axis uh, based on which we could find out three equations and from that we could get our values of a b and c we also assumed that the angle of the v is 90 degrees uh, and therefore that helped the solution where beta became equal to 90 minus alpha okay so today's session we would uh, go ahead and discuss another type of flat uh, uh, sideway uh, guideway sorry Uh, so this is called a flat flat type of a guideway <clears throat> and since there is sliding friction we can also call it a slideway okay so here is the diagram of this type of a guideway so we see here that the guideway has a flat shape on both sides okay so the construction of this guideway is pretty simple okay uh and it has got many uh, advantages also it's like you know the area is quite large so it can be more robust also so these are some advantages of this guideway now since it is flat uh there has to be some surface which is going to carry horizontal loads okay that is something very important because when cutting is happening this py component of force is coming and therefore we have to see uh you know how the horizontal force generated by cutting will be counteracted okay so uh that is done by these vertical surfaces okay so from these vertical surfaces a reaction can be obtained and therefore these are the forces that are uh, possible from the vertical section okay now since the force py is in uh, this direction the reaction of obviously will be in the opposite direction okay so that is how we see that you know what are the forces that are coming um, on this particular type of carriage okay <coughs> now having understood this let us see what are the various forces uh, that are acting here so the forces acting here uh, as in terms of reactions are reactions from the uh, right slide way also this is the reaction from the left slide way both are flat and therefore they are the vertical forces both of these forces and one reaction from this part of the uh, slide way okay so these are the three forces that are there <coughs> and again for our design purposes we will have to uh, basically go ahead and uh, find out what are these forces what are the pressures on the guideways and then ultimately compare with our threshold pressures uh um, having understood this let us now also focus on one more diagram uh, and this diagram is very important uh which basically tells us tells us about the exact location of the force we have been talking about this force a and we have been looking at a cross section okay and uh, this cross section is while looking from the headstock you know because if you look from the headstock you will see that the tool is on your right side isn't it so this is not the tailstock view um, as we thought earlier but it is the headstock view okay looking from the headstock um so the point here is we only see this cross section here okay and we see that okay this force is acting but if we try to keep it in the third dimension okay so we want to know where that force is acting whether it is acting uh at the beginning of the carriage at the middle of the carriage or at the end of the carriage okay 
so we don't know that okay so therefore uh, we have to look at the side view okay so we have to look from this view and this is basically where the turner basically stands okay so this is where the turner stands and here is your lead screw okay so we have to look from that direction and that diagram is uh, given right here okay so this is the diagram okay uh, and in this diagram they have gone ahead and also found out the distances okay so if there are three reactions namely a b and c okay here you can see a c and there is this reaction b in this direction we have to find out what is the distance of these reactions from the origin okay and obviously in the correct plane of perception so we can see here in this diagram um, there is a slight difference the origin is taken at this point here okay so this is origin is the uh, sort of center of the guideway which is closest to the turner okay so that is the way you can visualize it <coughs> so this is where we are taking the moments about uh, and this is your y axis this is your z axis okay and when we look from the side view then that same set of axis uh, becomes in this particular way now we can see the z axis and we can see the y axis oh, sorry the x axis which is you know along the workpiece you know your workpiece would be somewhere like this okay uh, and your uh, your y axis is a dot okay y axis is a dot okay so now i hope you understand the perception uh, and this is something very important so let me sort of uh, go to another view um, uh, and this this particular view would again be useful and what we are talking here is uh, let let us first of all assume that this is one of the flat slideways okay uh, and we are talking about we want to know you know what the force is you know the the force uh, on this particular slideway because of this particular carriage okay so let us say we are assuming the force but uh, we also need to analyze where this force lies okay so this is under has to be understood okay uh, and we have to understand if this is the origin okay right here that is the center of your carriage you know if this is you know the edges and this is the center of the carriage we need to know what is the distance of the reaction force a from this uh, z axis here okay and this is your x axis this is z axis we need to know what that distance is and that distance is called as x a okay so in the in the depth direction we are trying to find out uh, where that exact force is okay so if this is the force a what is the distance from your z axis that is x a okay <clears throat> in after finding out x a the same question arises for the force which is c okay this force c and uh, you know this also has to be understood well so again we need to know if what is the center of this and what is the distance of this force okay c from that uh, you know uh, z plane if i may call it okay uh, so that would be the z y plane okay uh, so we have to find that distance also so that is again called x c okay so i hope you understand the point of question we need to understand whether the c is acting at this edge or at this edge or at this edge okay so we have to understand in in each of those cases the distance from the z axis would have a certain value okay so that is something very important and uh, not to mention the same thing applies for your force b okay and this force basically comes uh, you know on this vertical plane of that uh, slide way okay it is the plane which is behind this one okay and uh, again we need to find out whether the force b is coming at this edge or it comes at this edge okay 
so we need to know which that force is and then xb would be the distance of that force b from the center okay or from the uh, <coughs> the center of the carriage correct so uh, having understood this uh, you know we will go ahead and analyze this in a bit but first of all we need to understand that in this particular uh, analysis we would be taking consideration of these various forces uh, forces uh, a b c and their distance x a x b and x c okay so with this i think i would pause this video and continue in the next thank you